Hello everybody, welcome to Totally Tabled, my name is Shaggy, and today I'm doing a playthrough of Four Northwood. This is a solo trick-taking game, and if you're wondering how that works, well, just stick around, I'm gonna teach the game as I play, as I always do. For your first game, you want to take out the four jacks. The Jack of Leaves, Jack of Eyes, Jack of Claws, and Jack of Flowers. These are going to be your four allies. You then want to take the four kings and the four queens and shuffle them up. And then place them on these numbered cards. Ordered from zero to seven. These represent the eight fiefs of the Kingdom of Northwood. And each of these cards represents the leaders of those fiefs that we're trying to convince to unite. We're gonna do this by engaging them in dialogue, which will take the form of basically playing a trick-taking game. So if you're familiar with other trick-taking games, this should be a breeze. We now wanna shuffle up this deck, which has cards of four suits from one to eight. We just want to shuffle that up and then deal ourselves a hand of eight cards. We then want to leave room for a discard pile on one side and a scoring pile on the other. Let's organize this out here, okay. We now need to choose which fiefdom we want to engage in dialogue. In order to win over the leader there, we're gonna have to win a certain number of tricks as shown on the bottom. And so we need to look at our hand of cards and think about how many tricks we feel that we can win. I'm feeling like I might wanna come right here. We can go to any of these, but I'm thinking of coming here to the King of Flowers. This means that in order to win over the King of Flowers, we're gonna need to win four tricks, but also flowers are gonna be trump for this round. The trump is determined by whatever leader we're engaging in dialogue with. We're now gonna have a conversation, which just means we're gonna be playing out tricks, but between each trick, you can use one of your ally's special abilities. I don't feel like doing that yet, so we're just gonna start with the first trick. And the way it's gonna work every time is we just draw a card from the top of the deck and we now have to respond. And like a lot of trick-taking games, you have to follow suit if you can. So since clause was played, we have to play a clause card if we have one. And we happen to have one in this case, so we have to play it. And because it's lower than the five that was played, we kind of lose that particular bit of dialogue. So we're gonna place our card in the discard pile. If this card had been higher than five, we would put it here in the score pile. And that's where we're keeping track of essentially how many tricks we're winning. But we lost that trick, so we do that. And before the next trick, we can use the ability of one of our allies if we wanted to. Still don't think I'm ready for that just yet, so we're gonna go again. Again, you just draw the top card. Okay, it's claws again, and this time we don't have claws, so we can't follow suit. When this happens, we can play any suit that we want. If we were to play one of the eyes cards or one of the leaves cards, the number wouldn't matter. Because it was the wrong suit, we would lose the trick. We wouldn't score. But if we play the trump trick, which in this case is flowers, because we're dealing with the king of flowers, whatever we play will win. And I think that's exactly what we want to do. So let's play this three of flowers. And even though it's the same number, because it's the trump suit, we get to score and we put it right there. We now essentially have one of the four points that we need in order to win over the king of flowers. And keep in mind, we have to get exactly four. If we get three or if we get five, both of those are failures. I'm feeling good at the moment about how things are going. I don't think we need our allies help quite yet. Let's just keep going with the next line of dialogue. Ooh, the big eight of leaves. We have to play a, one of our leave cards. We have three of them here. We can't win, so let's go ahead and play our lowest one. Okay, I'm still feeling pretty good about our situation. Okay, 
another clause. Yeah, another chance for us to just take a point. And so let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm a little worried about maybe taking too many, but I still think we're doing okay. Yeah, let's just keep going. Okay, seven of eyes. We have to play our eyes card. And that's a loss. Now this conversation or the round is gonna be over when either we run out of cards or the deck runs out. So we have to keep going until then and you can't stop early, right? You have to either get rid of all your cards or get rid of the deck. Yeah, we still need to win two more. Okay, yeah, let's just keep going. Ooh, okay. So since flowers was led, we have to play a flower. It's higher, so we take it. And now we're in a little bit of a pickle maybe, because if leaves doesn't come up, then we're gonna lose both of these. Yeah, let's go one more time. Ooh, wait a minute. I might want to use this Jack of Eyes right now. It says draw two cards, then discard two cards. So we're just going to flip them upside down to show that we've used them. And their special ability is just gonna let us draw two more cards. And now we must discard two. Okay, let's discard these two. So at least we have a couple of options. And we can only use one ally between each trick. So now we have to draw the top one. Ooh, it's claws. Okay, so we'll play that. And now we're in a little bit of danger here. That would have to be a leaf for us to win. If it's anything else, we're gonna lose and we're gonna come up one short. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually use the special ability of the Jack of Leaves. It says, exchange the ruler on the fief you're visiting with a neutral ruler up to two fiefs away. At the moment, they're all neutral. And so here we have the King of Leaves Two fiefs away, we're gonna switch. And now that we're dealing with the King of Leaves, this is a wild card. So we can flip that over, and now we're in a much better position to win this last trick and get the exact four tricks that we need. And there we go. We trumpet, and we got it. Boom. Since we were successful, we slide this ruler down and they scream for Northwood. We managed to convince them through our conversation to peacefully join our cause. And at the end of a round like this, we get our allies back. We shuffle up this deck. We're going to get another hand of eight cards. And we're going to visit another one of these fiefs. And the game ends once we've visited each one, either succeeding to bring them on side or failing. For every one that we succeed with, we're going to get a certain number of points. Now, we only got one point for convincing the four kingdom because that's a that's a pretty easy thing to do. But you can see over here, if we can get this king of claws, boom, that's going to be four points. So let's just deal out our eight cards. See what we got here. Okay. This hand looks significantly weaker. I feel like we could go pretty low. I'm thinking maybe the Queen of Claws or possibly even we come all the way down here and just try to slough all this away. We have a lot of coverage, no trump. Yeah, let's try that. We're gonna go for just winning one. And now if we want to, we can bring the King of Leaves along to help us out with this conversation. Because we've won them over, we can have them replace one of our allies just for this conversation, just for this round. Their special ability here says, look at the top card of the deck, exchange it with a card in your hand. That seems very useful. 
And this might be one of our harder conversations, so I think we might want to use them right away. And we can really replace any of our allies here. I don't think we're going to need the Jack of Flowers, because their ability is to discard all cards that match the current ruler's suit. Which in this case is eyes, and we don't have any eyes. So, let's go ahead, we can just place them on top. For this round, they're going to be our new ally. And whether we use them or not, they're going to go away at the end of the round. Okay, let's see how our conversation with the Queen of Eyes is going to go. Oh, this is perfect. We can slough something that's pretty big. And we do have to win one of these, but let's get rid of that big guy there. Okay, I'm feeling good about this. We don't need our allies yet. Let's go ahead and save the five. Get rid of that three. Okay. Yeah, we could go ahead and win. Yeah, let's go ahead and take one trick here. That's all we need. So we want to lose the rest. So I think now might be a good time to use the King of Leaves ability. We're going to look at the top card of the deck and exchange it with a card in our hand. <laughs> okay, well, we'll replace that. That, uh, that's a little unfortunate. And now we have to go... Oh, perfect. That's Trump, so we can play this. And now we're in really good shape here. I'm not sure we're gonna need any more help. I think we got this in the bag. Okay, we gotta play that too. Oh, great. We're out of claws. We can slough anything. And now we just have some ones, so this is going to be no problem at all. There we go. That is a victory for Northwood. And now we lose the King of Leaves. His help was much appreciated, but we get back our Jack of Flowers. Our Jacks will never go away. They'll always be here to help us out. And there we go. We're going to shuffle up and go again. Okay, we have some pretty large cards here. Two eights, five, six. I think we can go big here. Feels like the Queen of Flowers or the Queen of Leaves. Couple of th Let's go Queen of Flowers. Six is a lot, but I think, I think we can handle it. Now, do we want to bring the Queen of Eyes along? Let's see. Her special ability is to look at the top three cards of the deck and return them in the same order. Ooh, that is handy. I think we're going to leave the Queen of Eyes behind. I think she'll be more valuable later. So we're just going to go with our regular allies. And of course, before we even draw a card, we could use one of their abilities. I don't think that's necessary right now, so let's just go ahead and get started. Oh man, right away. Yeah, let's just go ahead and trump in immediately and get that point. Because we need six of them, so that was good. Okay, we've got to follow suit, so that's a win. Yeah, no, things are going good. Let's just keep keep on. Oh, look at that. Let's go ahead and do it. That's fine. I'm thinking about maybe drawing two and discarding two, but I like to wait on that a bit. Now let's wait. Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay. Well, we can't win this one. Yeah, we'll drop that. We got to win three of these next four. Okay, let's not start panicking yet. Everything's fine. There we go. Yeah. Let's take them when we can get them. Gonna go one more round. Oh no. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, we'll spread it out. And now, we gotta win the next two. <laughs> 
So let's Jack of Eyes draw two and return two. Maybe we can get some Trump in here. No. We got two worse cards. So that did not work. And now we might be in trouble. Ooh, we got lucky. Now, I would love to do that trick that we did before <laughs> with the Jack of Leaves. Unfortunately, we can't do that. We either just have to draw and hope, or we could use the Jack of Claws as a pretty severe, desperate move. The Jack of Claws says that if you're holding fewer than eight cards, draw cards until you have eight cards in your hand. So we'd be drawing seven more cards and then trying to only take one. But what are the chances that that card is going to be a claw and lower? Not very good. So we're going to go for that desperate play and we're going to refill our hand of cards. And hopefully these will be a lot lower than they are. Um, six, seven, eight. Ooh, that's, that's potentially not very good. Now we have to draw. Oh, okay, luckily we can play under that. Okay, let's organize these. Now one thing we could do we could use the Jack of Flowers. It says, discard all cards that match the current ruler's suit. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna use the Jack of Flowers. So bye-bye, seven. Now this looks much more sort of reasonable in terms of just winning one. We just need to win one more. So that seems relatively doable. Okay, it's so not gonna be that one. And in a desperate move, we can always do this. So this is, this might work. This might work. Let's just keep going. Okay, six. Can't win that. Okay, can't win that. What do we want to slough here? If we slough this five, we're just in leaves. And then we could use that switch over. Yeah, I like that. That's the plan. That's the plan right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do that plan right now. Jack of Leaves, we're going to exchange the Queens. Now we got a trump, and there we go. Boom. Exactly six for Northwood. And we're done, we're doing fantastic. Okay, got a pretty strange hand here. Lots of claws, but also Quite a few high-value eyes. I'm wondering about this king of eyes. Some low stuff, some high stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I'm liking the king of eyes here. Now I'm wondering if I want to bring along the queen of eyes. We also now have the queen of leaves that we could bring along. Her ability is to use the ability of the ruler on the fief you're visiting. Well, let's see. What is the King of Eyes letting us do? It says, name any suit, draw two cards, then discard all cards of that suit in your hand. Wow. Okay. That sounds really good for maybe some of these lower values where we could just get rid of a bunch of cards. I think I will bring the Queen of Eyes along. Now, we could bring multiple, um, as many as we want, but you do have to cover up somebody, and that's the hard part. Let's cover up the Jack of Flowers. So these will be our helpers this time. And uh, yeah, let's just go. Ooh, okay. Let's just jump right in. Why not? All right. Well, 
Okay, now looking at this, I'm having trouble seeing three more wins. So, seems a little early to Jack of Eyes. Yeah, let's just hold tight. All right. I can see the value of getting rid of a suit. So we might do that. Oh, no. I'm not liking the direction that this is going. But again, we could always bring along the, the Queen of Claws over using the Jack of Leaves. And then these become Trump. So this isn't the worst thing in the world. Maybe now is a good time to Queen of Eyes. We can see what's coming up so we can see what we might need to do. That seems valuable. So that's just going to let us look at, at the top three cards of the deck. And then we're just going to put them back in the same order. So let's do this carefully. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Okay. We can win this one and this one. All right. Okay. This is a good plan. I think this is a solid plan. We're going to lose that. But we're going to... Oh, wait a minute. Before we do that, we know that's the Seven of Claw. We can beat it with the Eight of Claw. Let's Jack of Eyes first. We're going to draw two and then put back two. Oh, no, wait. That's not what we wanted to do. Nope. I, I didn't think about that properly. Made a mistake there. <laughs> okay. That... That compromises things a little bit. We're going to need to do this now. Put these back. Slight error in judgment there. But maybe it'll be fine. Okay, it's still fine. We can play this. That's Trump. And now we play the Jack of Leaves. We're going to exchange rulers. Bring in the Queen of Claws. And now that's unbeatable. Nice. And we've done it. Okay. <laughs> that got a little dodgy, but we managed to convince. Yes. Okay, this is a tough one. Lots of high cards. We have 0, 2, 3, and 7 left. <laughs> So, I think we gotta go seven. We gotta go up here and hope that we can make this work. We have too low a trump. Ah, we're gonna need to bring some people along here. And we just got the Queen of Claws. Uh, draw the top card from the deck, the discard pile, and the score pile. That's an interesting one. And we could also bring in the Queen of Leaves, which would let us use the power of the Queen of Flowers, which says to place the top card of the score pile face down on top of the deck. Neither of those are really helping, I don't think. I think we're just going to go it alone with our jacks here. So let's see what we can do. All right, that's a good start. That is a terrible start. Ugh. Yeah, let's go one more. Oh no! <laughs> okay. We failed. So we're gonna have to use the Jack of Claws at some point. I don't think now is that point. I do feel like using this Jack of Eyes though and seeing if we can get some Trump into our hand. We need flowers. That's not a flower. And that is not a flower. Well, we'll take the high cards and go from there. Hopefully that'll work. Ah, see, that's this is the problem. Okay. Well, Let's just keep going. We'll jack of claws at the last minute, I guess. Oh, boy. Wow. Yeah. Let's see if we can just pull out a few more here. Well, this is not working out so great, is it? 
Let's Jack of Claws now. I think, I think so. I think we need to Jack of Claws now. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to draw six more. There we go. Ugh. I mean, that could have been worse. Need to win six of these. <laughs> okay. We need to win six of these seven. We can only fail on one of these. All right. Good, good. We're gonna need a miracle. Yeah, that's that's basically it. We just need a miracle now, luckily. This we can handle. Okay, good. Yes, we can do that. Very good. Okay, come on. All right, that's not ideal, but it's fine. That's five. We need two more. Ugh, okay. We need one more. And these guys are not helping us, so... Yeah, we just gotta get lucky. Oh! We might have done it. We might have done it. Yes! <laughs> Boom! Amazing, amazing luck. We pulled it off. <laughs> that was far more luck than skill, but we'll take it. Okay, we managed to leave ourselves only low fiefdoms here. And that's a lot of eights. Um, I'm gonna go King of Flowers. And I think we're going to need some help. I think we definitely want to bring along the Queen of Leaves. Here. Because she's going to let us use the King of Flowers ability, which is to discard two cards whose value sum to exactly nine. Well, I got that all over the place here. Let's use the Jack of Flowers right away. We're going to discard... That eight, get it out of our hand. Let's go. <laughs> well, you know what? Love it. That's pretty lucky. Yeah, we're going to use the Queen of Leaves in order to use that ability to discard two cards of value nine. Boom. Okay. Okay. Well, so now I'm going to win too few, aren't I? <laughs> I overdid it. Okay. Let's jack of eyes. Let's jack of eyes. Draw two. Discard two. Oh, we keep that? No. Okay. We're going to discard that and that. Okay. This should work. This should work. <laughs> Barely worked. Okay, I think we're good. Yep, we slough that. Now we play Jack of Leaves. Flip. Flop. And... Boom. Did it. Okay, now we're in real trouble. <laughs> um, there's absolutely no way that we're taking no tricks with this hand, so we gotta go over here. We are definitely gonna need some help. We gotta save something for that zero, because that could be horrendous. Let's do King of Eyes. And we don't need the Jack of Leaves, because that is that ability is not gonna help us. And I'll save the other two. I think we're going to have to go with this. Now, we could discard. We could use Jack of Flowers right away. Yeah. 
So we can use Jack of Flowers right away, get rid of these. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay. This is fine, this is fine. Good, don't mind that. Excellent. Hmm, let's go ahead and use the Jack of Eyes now. Draw two. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what happens. Yeah. Boy, do I have to go Jack of Claws now? I think I do. Um, and that should give us a little bit more flexibility. I would... Okay, I wouldn't mind a trump. Okay, here we go. That could be worse. I can work with this, I think. Yeah. All right. This should be fine. <laughs> uh oh. Well, let's keep going. There we go. Get rid of that. This could be trouble. Yes, I do not mind that at all. Interesting. This is getting a little fishy here. Ah, let's go again. All right. There we go, that's good. Because we need to get rid of both of these. This is looking doable. Yes. There's only one card in the deck that could defeat us now, and that ain't it. Boom. That was close, but we did it. Got that one measly point. <laughs> but hey, it's something. On to the very, very last round. We know where we're going. We lose the King of Eyes, even though we didn't use them. This is it for the perfect run. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, this isn't the worst hand, but it's also not the best. Couple of issues here. The biggest one is that Trump. Don't like seeing that. But we have the Jack of Flowers who can take care of that. I think we definitely want the King of Flowers. We're not going to need the Jack of Leaves. And I think we want the Queen of Flowers as well. And we're not going to need the Jack of Claws. Now, I don't know if we want the Queen of Claws. We don't want to be drawing cards. We want to be getting rid of cards. So I think that works well right there. And I think we're going to go ahead and immediately play the Jack of Flowers to get rid of that. So we are out of trump. In order to do this, we have to win no tricks at all. And so right now, we're in danger with eyes. Eyes are sort of our kryptonite at the moment. If we can get past this one round, then I can use the King of Flowers... And if we do happen to score, we have the Queen of Flowers where we can remove it. So, okay, let's see. Let's see what let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is okay though. This might seem bad, but this is actually okay. Because here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play that seven. That's in the score pile. We're now going to play the Queen of Flowers. Place the top card from the score pile face down on top of the deck. Okay. And now we go. Oh, look at that. I can get rid of that. So that actually worked out pretty well. And now we're going to use the King of Flowers 
Discard two cards whose value sum to nine. I mean, feels like we just do this. Or do we go like this? And try to get out of flowers altogether? Maybe that's what we do. Okay, there's nine. Okay, so we'd have to get pretty unlucky here. Okay, that's very lucky. Um, might as well jack of eyes right now. No reason not to. We can always put the... <laughs> yeah, we'll put those back. And here we go. This is... We just gotta get this right. And I think we've done it. And it's done. Zero tricks. King of Claws on our side. <laughs> we have the Queen of Claws and the King of Claws left out there. All that matters is we have scored a perfect game. All eight fiefs are united peacefully for Northwood. If you add that up, that's 20 points. And you can refer to this little booklet here. It shows here at the bottom. That's going to be a gold medal. Also, after your first game, you can just shuffle up all the different cards that come with the game and just get a random assortment. They each have different special abilities, which change up the game. And there's even this little booklet here, The Noisy Year, which has a bunch of different challenges that you can go through, almost like a little campaign. But there you go, that was a complete playthrough of Four Northwood. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.